you know, now in this last ditch effort. Well, let's lie to uh, senior citizens and scare them to death with lies about Republicans. They want to take away your Social Security and Medicare and cut it. Okay, not a single Republican has ever said it. No Republican supports it. Not a single Republican has ever said that they want to cut your Social Security or Medicare, according to Sean Hannity. And he admits there that if they did say it, the idea that they would do that would be terrifying to senior citizens. So if you are an elderly individual and you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to buckle up and take a look at him being proven wrong. Be my objective to phase out Social Security, not to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. So that is uh, Mike Lee, uh, who, who's only, to be fair, only a senator, only might sponsor legislation to accomplish those goals, might vote to get rid of Social Security and Medicare, as he has been working towards for 12 years. That was back in 2010. Um, and I haven't really been paying attention to politics since then. I think, have the Republicans gotten more reasonable <laughs> since then? No, uh, so there is your senator, your Republican on record saying he wants to destroy these incredibly popular programs. Uh, it's not the only horrible position he holds to be fair. He advocates for raising taxes on the poor, wants to uh, eliminate unemployment benefits, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, universal home ownership, contraceptive rights and the entire new deal. And so this is all from different video clips that are available from that event. And in fact, if you look at Jonathan Larson's work at tyt.com, you can find out a lot more details about all of this. And so anyway, Lee says there that he believes that these programs need to be phased out, that they can't be saved, that they shouldn't be saved if they can be saved. And along the way, you all who might not be making nearly as much money as him or his donors should be paying more. He says our current tax system is bad because of the fact that we've got almost 50% of the population that pays nothing. 43.5% I think is the number. He says if we all have to pay taxes, every single one of us will have an incentive to make sure that our tax dollars are well spent. And what he is referring to there, and let's be clear, exaggerating there, is that an insufficient number of poor people, according to him, pay federal income taxes. That does not mean they don't pay taxes. Literally everyone pays taxes. And by the way, the poor who will on average spend every cent that they have merely trying to survive are gonna pay taxes, sales taxes and a variety of other taxes on all that they spend. The rich are the ones who are able to get away with evading taxes in a number of different ways. And so we have more on this, but I love that they're they're openly advocating for this. Now, some aren't like Mike Lee, they don't wanna completely eliminate it just yet, but they wanna raise the eligibility age, they wanna cut the benefits. They're, they're coming out with draft legislation already. And take a look at just like with abortion, you know, when the election's months and months away, then oh, they're big tough guys talking about their extreme ideas. But as you get closer to the election, suddenly, oh, I mean, they don't wanna talk about anything. They don't have any radical positions or anything. All oh, mums the word and eliminate any references from the campaign website. Well, the cheat is the modification to Social Security, but Kevin McCarthy on the House side has been open about wanting to revisit Social Security. So it's not just happening on the Senate side, it's all over the Republican Party. They talk, George Bush took a shot at this when he was president, mm -hmm. he wanted to, Privatize Social Security, modify Social Security. You'll hear all of these different code words. They want to get rid of these entitlement programs straight up. Yep. So Rick Scott's in charge of uh, elections on the Senate side for the Republicans. He's a Republican senator of Florida. He suggested uh, sunsetting all provisions, uh, all laws every five years. Uh, basically, okay, this is a summary of it. Uh, that means every five years they'd have to reauthorize Social Security and Medicare. And Republicans hate Social Security and Medicare. They've been trying to get rid of it since the day that FDR imposed it, right? Passed it and and signed it into law. Like literally, you look up the history of Social Security at every turn, Republicans have tried to destroy it, right? So that's a verifiable fact. But in the before an election, they always panic and go, oh, no, 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 Social Security, Medicare, no, 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 right? We wouldn't touch it. Okay. <laughs> and then, but that's why Mitch McConnell was so mad at Rick Scott. Because Rick Scott said it publicly. Yep. And Mitch McConnell's like, what are you doing, you idiot? We're supposed to pretend to be 
progressives and on the side of the American people and say, oh yeah, we love Social Security and Medicare, which are the most progressive, in fact, arguably socialist programs in American history. We pretend to be in favor of that, and then as soon as we win, we do what our donors told us. Destroy the goddamn thing and give me more tax cuts. So what Hannity is saying is like absolute joke. And if you told Hannity the day after the election, should we get rid of Social Security and Medicare? He'd be like, yes, finally. Okay, more tax cuts for me. This son of a bitch makes forty million dollars a year. Oh my god! They look at you know what they they call Social Security and Hannity does this all the time. They call Social Security and Medicare entitlements, as if like, oh, look at you with your you feel so entitled. Get goddamn right, we're entitled to it. Every one of us, including me, including all these guys, we've all paid into, including every one of you, paid into Social Security, paid into Medicare. It's taken out of every damn check, right? And at the end, we are entitled to that money because it's our money that we put in for our retirement, right? Yep. And Republicans say, "Oh, you feel like you're entitled to it." And then meanwhile, they give hundreds of millions of dollars to Republicans because they feel entitled to billions, in fact, trillions in tax cuts. Yep. So these are the worst people on earth, totally lying to you. Finally, by the credit to Joe Biden and the Democratic Party, it took them forever. But yes, of course, you're supposed to talk about this in an election. Most of the voters are older. Are you nuts? They should have been pounding away at this. When I saw Mitch McConnell panic, this was like now months ago. Rick Scott comes out, he's like, I got this great new plan, okay? We're gonna screw all the Americans and take away their social security man. And you see Mitch McConnell like receding into his shell, like, but in like <laughs> anger and fear, right? And he's like, no, no, Rick Scott doesn't talk for us. Cut it out after the election, you idiot, after the election, right? When you saw that fear and panic in McConnell's eyes, that's when you attack, because he's worried. Instead, the Democrats sat on their hands like idiots, like every time, until like two weeks before the election. They're like, oh, right. Social Security and Medicare poll at like 87% and 79%. Mm -hmm. Right, American people, all the voters are older. God damn it. Right, 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 right. And so good. I'm happy they did it in the last two weeks. They should have been pounding. They should have hurt them to their core. Yep. Uh, for the last two months, they should have pounded away. These sons of bitches are gonna steal your money. That's, and that's so, literally true. So right on. I mean, this is this is the messaging problem the Democrats have had. And yes, they should have been hitting this way, way sooner. Instead, it was about democracy and we're losing democracy. Not saying that that's not true, but I mean, you start talking Social Security, Medicare, you're talking about stuff that gets people's attention. And the other thing, and I heard this on my show, my brand new show, The Mark Thompson Show on YouTube, I heard that uh, and they, people said sarcastically, Mark, do you really think the Republicans are gonna take away Social Security, I mean the third rail? I used to hear that about Roe, about yeah. you really think they're gonna overturn the Roe? I mean, it's, it's by now, it's so radioactive. They're going to do it, they say they're going to do it, and they will deliver on that if they gain enough power. Yeah, yeah, and also, maybe last thing on this, but we don't even have to like just sort of gaze into the mists of the future and wonder where will they be able to find an opportunity. They've basically been saying that when the debt ceiling needs to be raised, they're going to take, they're going to hold that hostage to get these cuts. And everybody's been saying the Democrats have to take care of that situation before the midterms. And they've said this week they're not going to. They're just going to leave it open, and hopefully the master strategists in the Democratic Party will take care of it without giving up anything after the elections. But it's the same situation as with you know Merrick Garland back before Obama finally left office. Like you had an opportunity in theory to get this done, you didn't, and we've been paying the the price for it ever since. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one is the bigger lie. When Fox News tells you that Republican politicians have your best interests in mind and they care so much about the average American, <laughs> I mean that is as preposterous a lie as you could possibly. They all work for the billionaire donors that it can give them all of their funding. They brag about it openly. It's, it's, it's Lindsey Graham has said, "Well, look, the donors would close their checkbooks if we don't deliver for them." He literally said it out loud. Trump has said it, etc. Or if it's MSNBC and corporate media saying, "Democratic leadership." Geniuses, mm -hmm. master legislators. So you don't talk about your most winning strategy, your most winning policy issue, until people almost don't hear it, and you whisper it at the end. Yeah. Social Security, and Medicare, and then you run. That's genius, genius. No, you say it for two months straight. You run all your eyes at them. The reason Mark's right. Look, guys, I care more about democracy than anything else. I vote based on that. I care more about that than my Social Security. I care more about that than anything. Right. But most people. Most voters care about things that are the closest to them. Democracy is theoretical, it is far away from them. 
They would like it, they like it, they care about it a little bit, right? But their social security is right here. If they don't get it, they might starve. They might, if they don't have their Medicare, they might literally die, right? That is right here. You wanna get as close to the voter as possible. Republicans have known this my entire life. Democrats are still like, uh, what? How you get close to the voter and how it affects them, huh? <laughs> huh? I, I'm just gonna say, Trump bad guy, me good guy, did that work? No, it didn't work. It hasn't worked for six straight years. They just, they suck at this. And if corporate media didn't lie on behalf of corporate Democrats nonstop, we would have replaced these losers at the head of the Democratic Party decades ago. And we and what would we have gotten? Well, let's be productive and let's be factual. So what, what would I replace them with? It's not a matter of just progressives. I would replace them with people who are aggressive and know that you're supposed to fight your opponent and not lay down to them. He said, come on guys, isn't this the most obvious, simplistic things you've ever heard in your life? So how, what's the proof of concept? John Fetterman, Tim Ryan. John Fetterman is, a, is on the edge of retaking a Republican seat, even though he had a stroke, okay? If he hadn't had the stroke, he was gonna be up by 10. Tim Ryan is in a R plus 10 state in Ohio, and he might beat J.D. Vance. And even if he doesn't, he's this close, why? Tim Ryan and Fetterman don't agree. Tim Ryan's more conservative, John Fetterman's more progressive. No, but the thing they agree on is they run aggressive. They say, well, I'm gonna take down that son of a bitch ass kisser, okay? And people go, oh, I like that. Remember, we're not in a Democratic primary. The general election voters like that. Yeah. My whole life I've been saying this, and I've been called a radical, I've been called everything. Uh, they say, oh, Jake, <laughs> you're such a rookie. No, no, the way you win elections is you tell people that the other side is better than you. Republicans are great, we're, and we're civil to them. We don't wanna fight them, we don't wanna fight them, hmm. okay? And, they, and then the media comes and go, oh yeah, genius, genius. No, it was the dumbest strategy, they did it for 40 straight years. Look at what, look, again, I don't agree with Tim Ryan on a lot of policy issues, but look at what he's doing, it's not rocket science. You're supposed to run against the other guy. And now look at Hannity, what we started the story with. Now Hannity's in a panic. Have you ever seen them play defense on Fox News? Now Hannity's playing defense. No, 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 we're not, we're not gonna cut social security. What do you mean cut social security? No, 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 the Republicans never said that. <laughs> he goes back to his lies. <laughs> exactly. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.